Uh, if someone would have said to me, I'm going to quit my job today and go buy a movie theater. Yeah, I would have said you're crazy too. But <laughs> Haley Young was born and raised in Hallbrook, about an hour and a half east of Flagstaff, where she spent her childhood nights going to the Roxy Theater. And I just thought back to when I was in school. In my younger years, I was able to come here. And her family moved to Phoenix, where she was a respiratory therapist for 21 years. There we go. But one day she decided to quit her job and buy the Roxy. The marquee, like I said, is original. Um, but yeah, we have to climb out every week and change the movie. The Roxy so, Theater opened so its doors the in the 1950s to replace Holbrook's yeah, original back. theater that burned down in a fire. The Roxy's location on Route 66 drew in both locals and tourists. However, a lot has changed since I-40 was built. It kind of shut down the little towns around here. Holbrook wasn't, you know, um, one that skipped by or anything. It got hit by that too. So Young's goal is to create an attraction that encourages tourists to support Route 66 businesses. She was awarded a Route 66 grant from Road Ahead Partnership for her work restoring the historic business. I think for Route 66 in general, it's just getting community involvement, getting people to realize, hey, it's still there. And then there's things to see, especially those little towns and drawing in the businesses and things like that. And that message goes for Arizona locals, too. As growing up, you don't really appreciate it. And then you get older and you're like, man, that was a really cool thing. Mm -hmm. So, and there's so many things to do and see along the way. So the next time you're on I-40, come and stop in Holbrook and visit the historic Roxy Theater. And even get yourself some popcorn and see a movie. Reporting in Holbrook, Mason Carroll for Arizona's Family.